Hey, welcome back to the channel. I have to make about five or six circles. They need to be pretty precise circles. And I was deciding whether to use a router and make a jig for that or use a bandsaw and make a jig for my bandsaw. I decided on the bandsaw. So um, I've got a bunch of stuff over here laying, just a bunch of scraps. I'm gonna try to piece everything together and uh, get some circles cut out. All right, stick around, see if I can get it done. Here we go. This is a piece of three quarter inch MDF. It's two foot, two feet by 16. I need at least, I need at least a two foot circle. So I'm gonna draw this at 14 inches and um, I'm gonna put a runner underneath it for support. And then we'll put a little strip across the edge also for support, just to give it to where this will be structurally sound. Um, I'm gonna draw a couple of holes. I'm just gonna to get to go. Here we go. I've got an old drill bit. It's 121, and I've got a new drill bit. It's 120. I'm just going to use this as a pin, a guide pin for uh, the jig. So I'm going to cut all this threaded off because it was damaged anyway. I'm just going to cut probably. Uh, three quarters of an inch of this pin. Make this my guide pin for my measurements out here. So that's what we're gonna do next. Right, so there's no real instructions on this. That's where my blade ends right at 14 inches. So what I'm gonna do is Come back just a little bit. I'm gonna 
mark. That should be square. I'm marking inches here. so it would actually ride on it. Scrap piece, six and a quarter by six and a quarter, five center of this board. See if we can cut us a six inch circle. I need to put this three inch. All right, let's see what happens. Right there. Let's see how this goes. Turn it on. Supposedly, you can slide it in. We'll hit this stop, and then we'll be able to turn until we get a perfect circle. Here we go. Six inches. Six inches. Perfectly round with a jig. I'll go ahead and cut one more six inch round just to see how accurate it is. All right, here we go. I would say that it's consistent. So, yeah, it's spot on every time. 
Hey, this was an easy jig to make. It took me about 45 minutes and, you know, just scrap wood I had laying around the house. This is three quarter. Obviously I cut my, my runner to fit in there so it doesn't walk on me and a strip across here. That way when I slide, slide the jig into place, it has a, it has a permanent locking position. And then just drill your, drill your hole straight, stick it in the dowel that you want it in. Always measure half if you want a six inch wheel or circle, put it in your three. And you could probably even do halves if you wanted to, but um, I have to do a 24 inch circle, a 20 inch circle, a 16 and a, I think a 12. So uh, this jig is gonna find a home here. So I appreciate y'all watching and uh, more to come. All right.